What's up everybody, it's your boy Rebel here, and if you thought I hated life because I got the shield and knife to platinum, well... <laughs> I got the launcher's platinum. Drank beer, liked beer, still like beer. Alright, so how's everybody doing today? Hope we're all having a wonderful day. So I did indeed get the launchers to platinum, got all of them gold, and oh boy, that was fun. So today I'm going to take my knowledge of what I've accomplished and pass it along to you and help anybody out there also grinding to Damascus. Make sure that you know all the best tips and tricks to get these launchers all gold and platinum. Let's go over the launchers first, shall we? There's two lock-on launchers, the Pila and the Joker, the Javelin. I consider those the uh, anti-aircraft launchers then you have the anti-infantry launchers the strella and the rpg the pila does double as an anti-infantry because it is easy to shoot at people it does have that lock-on function to allow you to actually shoot uavs because strangely enough the strella and rpg cannot shoot down uavs i mean i think the strella can but it's incredibly hard to do so i wouldn't even recommend doing that but the pila is one of the launch on long the lock on launchers as well as the joker the javelin and those are going to be what you're going to want to lock on to the uavs and the vtols and the and whatever up in the air then you got the strella and the rpg you're, which you're just going to want to shoot at their feet and the camo challenges are for the spray paint you got 125 kills woodland and digital are 40 attackers and 40 defender kills dragon is 75 air streaks splinter is 75 ground streaks Topo is 50 spotter destroys, Tiger is 50 support streak destroys, don't know what a support streak is compared to a, any other streak, 50 streaks with cold blooded for stripes, 50 kills with amped for reptile, and then 50 vehicle destroys for skulls. Okay, so being that reptile is the second to last camo that you unlock and that's 50 kills with amped, I would recommend trying to take care of of, of the launchers during a double weapon xp event or maybe possibly using double weapon xp tokens i'm not entirely sure depends on how long you want to be using them if shipment is around you could just use the rpg and the strella there and just keep shooting it at people's feet for the two anti-infantry ones you really are going to want to just use them as anti-infantry to level them up because they're just so easy the 50 kills with amped will be easy once you get the strella and the rpg all the way leveled up and you get the all the kills all the attackers all the defenders all the kills with amped then you've got the air streaks ground streaks spotter destroys cold blooded support streak and vehicles those will just happen the support streaks and vehicles will just happen i would always recommend if you are going with your launchers even not i tend to just now on my classes run cold blooded and spotter spotter helps me not only see when a personal uav or where a uav is so i know exactly where to aim and shoot it down and i'm not wasting any time it also shows you where equipment is which is extremely handy and you might be thinking well you with the shell and the joke how do you get a uh, how do you get ground streak kills well there are the sentry gun and the uh wilson and the shield turret there was an exploit where you could go to ground war and shoot neutral vehicles and that would count as ground streaks they did catch that however personal radars and possibly sea uavs do count for ground streaks for some reason i'm not sure if they always count for air streaks i swear there was a match i got two personal radar destroys and i only got one air streak destroy so that's very strange but you are going to want to go into shoot house and just keep hoping you get into a lobby where people are running hard lined personal radars and keep throwing them up i got into a few lobbies like that where i kept getting seven eight ten twelve personal uav destroys a game if it's something like hard point or domination that will be somewhat easy the air streaks, it, it is just, it is going to come down to with the RPG and Strella. Just keeping them on your class with Spotter, waiting for a personal radar to go into the air and shooting it down. It will take a couple of days of just doing that, but that's really the only way that there is. As for leveling up the Pila, the Pila is my favorite launcher because it's a lock-on and anti-infantry. And it's really fast, it's not a javelin, it destroys UAVs like that. I, if, if you're not using the launcher, just throw on the Pila and progress that one naturally and it will come pretty easy. The Joker, on the other hand, I do not like this launcher. I don't like the javelins. Not a huge fan. 
It's annoying trying to destroy streaks when other people are just using direct fire missiles and yours that takes, I think it takes a total of eight seconds to fly all the way up in the air and come back down and hit its target. Oh boy. And on top of that, you have the attacker defender kills and kills with amp with the javelin. So that's going to be incredibly difficult, but I would just recommend going on to shoot house because you can't, you can lock onto the ground. I don't know if you knew that with the javelin, you can lock onto the ground. So if you're playing hard point, keep locking locking onto the hard point or get on the hard point and aim where you think they're going to come from and hope you get a kill there. I would say your best bet is probably domination and you stay back at the C flag or the A flag on shoot house, aim at the wall. And then as it locks on, you back up and it'll stay locked on back up. So it does the javelin missile doesn't hit the wall in front of you. I've had that happen a few times and then it'll fly up and launch. If you're on C or A, you'll get the defender. And if they're on A or C, you'll get the attacker as well. Besides that, for leveling up the Joker, I did just go to Ground War and I stayed in the back and used the infinite ammo crates and just kept shooting everything that I can find out of the sky. And then I just lock on places too when I wasn't doing that and try to get some kills with it. The Joker is definitely the most challenging, but I tried to take care of it pretty fast. Uh, so I didn't waste too much time when I did that one. The Strella and the RPG, once I got it max level and once I got all the attacker and defenders and could just use it to hunt down personal radars, that's all I did. And it just came naturally over time. And that's all there really is to it. You know, you just got to attach them and hope that you can take care of them over time. And then you can get them done. So then the next time there's a double weapon XP, you can get all the rifles to max level, which I did over the weekend. Uh, don't know if you know this, Infinity Ward is a bunch of lying liars with their liar liar holes. And they had said that you cannot stack double XP with double XP tokens. I don't know if they meant just normal XP or if they explicitly said weapon XP, but you can, you can. Despite what they said, that's not true at all. You can stack double weapon XP with double weapon XP weekend, double weapon XP tokens with double e weapon XP weekend and get quadruple weapon XP. I got the FN scar to max level. I am not close to any of the camos with the FN scar because I took care of it so fast and they're so high level too up in the 60s that's like a thousand kills that you have to get with each rifle to get a max level or just 500 if you use double weapon xp or just 250 if you use quadruple weapon xp which i did which i would highly recommend but you can also use them to level up the launchers but since it's like they're just launchers i'd say just do them naturally over time let it come what may and that's gonna wrap this one up folks thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed hope you found something useful here maybe maybe not i have no idea but uh yeah no i gotta stay consistent so smash that like button hit the sub sub button click the notification bell Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your progress on your on your way to Damascus is or if you're not going to go for it. What guns you have gold. I'm still seeing people using the 725 and the M4 and they don't have any gold yet. And I'm just like, what are you even doing? What are you even doing? Hey, and until next time, peace.